Hi, Mikael here again. Um, a few weeks ago we were up at the mountains and I uh, posted a video about living on the edge. Um, here we are back on the edge again. Uh, I used to do a bit of rock climbing back in, back in, back in the days uh, with a bit with the kids and uh, we're in here with the kids today and um, I used to be able to out, out climb all of them but today for the first time I had to uh, give in uh, to my son. He got up a couple of climbs that I just cannot get up and that's good. He's a lot taller than me, a lot stronger than me so that's all right. If we go over, we'll see there's my daughter up there. Um, I managed to get up that climb um, and uh, now she's determined to get up it too which she will eventually uh, mom there be laying. So, uh, my arms are shaking and, uh, and it's time to get back into it. Uh, I'll be back shortly to see if I can get up this one over here. Going up to the top up there. Wish me a good luck. See you soon. Oh, oh well, I'm pumped here and my, my fingers and hands are. It's quite fun actually. Uh, I don't think I should be doing this, but uh, you know, such is life. Uh, being on the itch, I'm right on an itch here, um, enjoying the view over the over the wall. My daughter down there somewhere waving. Oh, there she is, uh, be laying me up here, being on on the itch. <laughs> uh, just get the adrenaline going and. Uh, uh, shortly in, in this video I will come back and I will talk a bit about a little bit more in depth about um, why we do this why children naturally do this and why we as adults need to do it too in whatever way that it works for us so I'm gonna see if I can get down from here catch you later um, back on the edge there's there's a few more things I would like to add this time about living on the edge and for me there's like three reasons that we need to be on the edge not all the time uh, because that will get too stressful but on a regular basis and the first one is it makes us more alive so we are more present in the moment when we are on that edge we could kind of say it's a form of meditation it brings us more into the moment into the presentness of the situation so there's an aliveness in that so that's uh, reason number one reason number two is that when we go to the edge in whatever it is that we're doing whether it is teaching uh, rock climbing public speaking um, building house like whatever it is that we're doing and we go to that edge of our ability there is the potential of learning some new specific things or things that we need to to do so for example with the rock climbing if there's a move I can't do I then get become more aware of what I need to improve on to be able to do that and then I can go and practice that and then there's a third one and that's my favorite uh, as a personal and spiritual uh, growth coach um, number three is about personal growth about personal and spiritual growth and that is when we are on the edge that is where our um, the likelihood and the opportunity to grow is often the highest and in that moment of being in that place what we will often experience at some level is um, a level of fear and in that moment we have the ability to come inside ourselves and learn internally from that and then break through that so believe it or not but I really don't like heights so climbing is kind of crazy so there were a couple of times a day where I was up the top and I just momentarily just had that uh, minor panic of Ooh, if something happens here it's a long way down and I'm really gonna hurt myself and in that moment I could then kind of turn the focus back in and go okay and be with that fear for, for that moment and really kind of you could say meditate with that really be present with that and it's just a, a moment like that and in that moment that 
disappears. And in that moment there is growth and then there is a new level of presentness within that. And then I could carry on doing what I was doing at the time with a new level of confidence uh, because of that. So just to wrap it up quickly for, for, for today, get on the edge because it's natural. And there are three reasons to be on the edge. I'm sure we can find more reasons. But one is you're more alive when you're in that place and it's natural to you. You're more alive and more present. Two, there is the possibility of learning some specific things that will move you onwards. And three, there is the opportunity for personal and spiritual growth that lies in coming inside um, that feeling, typically a level of fear uh, that is present at that moment. So get back out there on the edge um, and I'll be very happy to hear from you uh, in examples of you doing that and what you might have learn from that just put it in the comments uh, below this video till next time happy living on the edge